Good morning. The support in euro dollar did not break. There was a support at 104.60, but they uh, managed to do a re-break. So parity is not coming, and that is pressuring the German DAX index, which is lower. Um, there were um, actually um, we were above 10,600. Now we are um, right now below 10,500. And so there are some, there's some profit taking going on. Now, what do we have since the Trump election? In November and December, 286 billion US dollars went into US equity funds. That's the seventh annual inflow worldwide in the whole year of 2016. There were inflows into equity ETFs um, in the amount of 375 billion dollars that was a record year so after a long after a slow start there was this record inflows and that is a strong reversal so let's see how much is going on with um, in in the course of this year so there's a saying go um, saying about um, if the first days of the year are actually positive then the rest of the year will be positive or at least in the outcome at the year end. 91.7 billion US dollars are put into short positions in US treasuries. So they are, uh, this is the highest amount since at least the year 2009. So a lot of investors, hedge funds and speculators are speculating on higher rates in the United States. And um, that is something that is becoming more and more a crowded trade. So if sooner or later some of that at least is going to reverse and then we will have a short squeeze in US Treasury so watch that for um, a potential strong move there. 46.2% of private US investors are bullish right now. The average, the long year average is at 38.5 so we are above that a very bullish uh, sentiment out there on Wall Street on behalf of uh, private investors. If you look at the price of crude oil, it went down strongly yesterday. The Saudis wanted to take over control. They said that they want to lower production not only by 4.6% as the OPEC agreed upon, but by 7%. That has somehow showed already that some other countries that originally said they want to join that agreement will not do so. Now, yesterday we um, <clears throat> actually um, knew who that country was, and that is Iraq. There could be a first crack in that agreement. They rose their exports in December to a record high, uh, at least uh, not a record high, but it, to a new production high um, after um, uh, for the past years. And so that is somehow... Um, yeah, raising some eyebrows if they really want to join the agreement. Iraq wants to say, or Iraq said, the energy ministry there said that in January they will comply, but there have been some concerns if they really do. So it's all, with, with the price of oil, it's all about OPEC, it's all about psychology, it's all about the sentiment. If um, the market does not see in hard figures that the agreement the OPEC made to lower production is not really executed or is not really followed on, then the price will go down again. And that is something that we have for the moment.